Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you what's new in the January security update for Pixel devices. The update pushed to my Pixel devices just one hour ago and I have here my Pixel 3 XL and 4 XL to show you what's new in the January security update. But before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first thing that worth mentioning if you didn't get December security update on your Pixel last month, you most likely will get December and January security updates in one go. Which wasn't the case with me, I already got December security update on my Pixel devices last month. So if you are new to the December security update and want to know what's new, you can check my previous videos by clicking the links showing now on the screen or the link in the description below. For January security update, I didn't spot any functional changes. The whole update size is 11.9 megabytes on the Pixel 4 XL and 12.7 megabytes on the Pixel 3 XL. So it's mainly bug fixes. So let's start with the build number. On the Pixel 4 XL, the build number will be, let me show you this. The build number on the Pixel 4 XL is QQ1B.200105.004. And on the Pixel 3 XL, the build number is QQ1A200105002. Now let's take a look at the improvements came with the January security update. The first thing is a fix for the notification display in UI and that includes Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 3 and 3 XL, 3A and 3A XL and 4 and 4 XL. The second improvement is a fix for the flashlight toggle function when it comes to the assistant. So some users were, were impacted with a bug where they cannot toggle the flash using the, the Google Assistant. So let's try this. Turn on flashlight. So it's working now. Turn off the flashlight. So if you are impacted with this bug, so now it should be fixed with the January security update. Next, a fix for the devices stuck during boot on Android 10. And this is one of the major issues that I started to see online impacting good amount of people. And I'm glad that Google pushed the fix for it. Next, a fix for the Wi-Fi connection issues. And that's only for the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Next, call the speaker audio quality improvements. And that's for Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. So as far as I have the Pixel 3 XL with me right now, so let's give that a try. So the last time I used the speaker for making phone calls on my Pixel 3 XL was about two or three months ago and I remember the crackling noise I was getting while making phone calls but I can confirm it's now a little bit better so you can give that a try and let me know in the comments. Next, improvements for audio in video capture and that's only for the Pixel 3a and Pixel 3a XL. Next, a fix for color shifting at lower brightness and that's only for the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I'm gonna go to a white background and decrease the brightness. I'm not sure if there is a difference because I didn't try this before the update, but I can tell that the white of the background is still the same. I don't see anything wrong with the color. And the brightness is pretty low. Let's make it, let's make it lower. And I think it's good. Yeah, it doesn't have any color shifting that I can see on my Pixel 4 XL. I'm not sure if it's only impacting certain users or it's impacting everyone with the Pixel 4. 
So if you are impacted by the color shifting issue at lower brightness on your Pixel 4 or Pixel 4 XL, please let me know in the comments if the issue got resolved after the January security update. Next is the smooth display support for WeChat app and that's definitely only for the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. Next, a fix for Wi-Fi crash on certain enterprise access points. And finally, various stability fixes. I'm not sure what exactly the fixes mentioned here but that includes starting from the pixel 2 up to the pixel 4 and uh, in case if i spotted anything new i will definitely keep you updated so that's pretty much it for today i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching